Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back again. Screen Junkies has finally made an honest trailer for Godzilla X Con The New Empire. I haven't watched this channel in so long. It's literally been since like, what, like GBK? Golly, that was three years ago. With that being said guys, let's go ahead and check this out. Oh man, I miss these kind of intros. All right, honest trailers. From the director of the live action Death Note. I don't like this. And this guy. Did you just shut the f up? And a studio that uses the I Death Note never on its seen own that. films comes a knockdown, drag out brawl between the last two brain cells in your head. You see, ape fight lizard, or call truce to fight ape on lizard. Moth help, ape good. Oh my god. So <laughs> it's called the New Empire. If you're not up on the latest MonsterVerse lore, don't worry, because while Japan is making their Godzilla movies more thoughtful, America is still doing <laughs> WrestleMania if they film oh it at the God. zoo. I already had a feeling they're going to compare this to Minus One, but it's okay. Where two frenemies continue their endless dance of facing off, uh. teaming up, and beating ass. <laughs> While down below, humanity searches for enough plot to kill time between the monster fights. Quickly, to the cave of exposition. The monster who laid a star. He imprisoned the apes in the fiery realm of Hollow Earth. Their false and titan names of Shima. He controls When I was rewatching this with my family at my grandpa's house, like, <laughs> I can kind of see it on, like, everybody's faces, because, like, when she was kind of explaining, you know, the background history between Godzilla and Star King and his army, like, Everyone was kind of like, okay, okay, like, yeah, let's just get to the point of them, like, you know, fighting now. The Wicked Mothra, defender of the Iwi, and ancient ally of Godzilla. Okay, that's long enough. <laughs> Fight! <laughs> yeah, everyone gets kind of fed up with that shit after a while. Your returning champions, Godzilla, a teenage Saurus Rex, always sleeping. He's calling him a teenager, I'm like done. A big angry baby. Eating. Atmospheric radiation levels are dropping. He's absorbing it. Okay, he's charging for something. And experimenting oh, with yeah. hot pink highlights. It's like so just a phase, Mom. Puberty. This is me now, okay? And then there is Kong, who's less of a king and more of a broke down divorcee. <laughs> I lost Kong. Who's been avoiding the dentist. <laughs> His damn and gets catfished by frogs. Yeah, they had me in the first half there. I was actually excited too. I was like, oh shit, okay, like finally Kong finds his kind in the hollow earth. And then we get to the part where we see the parrot frog. I'm like, oh, like, that's what the fuck that was coming from? Like, that's it. Ugh, that has gotta be rock bottom for him, <laughs> even including the first King Kong Godzilla team up. Oh man. Gotta love, just gotta love those physics. Thrill as a new threat emerges from the subterranean realm, which is below the hollow earth. Yeah. It's <laughs> looming back up on the surface again, no? Ah, uh, f me for asking. Forgot what kind of movie this was. <sighs> Under slash this over is one there, of those turn off your brain kind of things. And eight with the same twisted moral compass as your average Pokemon trainer. Seriously, Scar King? This is why I do not like him as a Call villain. Must be Scar's people from a lifetime of pointless rock moving and step up to become the stepdad of a micro car <laughs> orphaned by Donkey oh King. God. He'll need Godzilla and Mothra's help to whip this slave driver. Because otherwise, it's like watching someone try their first Elden Ring boss. <laughs> No, Kong, don't run away to use a summon. Get good. While the Beast Wars rage, uh, humanity is sending great his best to turn well. the tide. A podcaster, a dentist, a corporate manager, and her deaf child. They're led by Dr. Eileen Andrews. Like that, she runs propaganda <laughs> at the CIA for animals. Tell the Italian military Rome would be flattened if it weren't for Godzilla. Just tell them to find another scapegoat. Her pet is biting famous cities. Her daughter is tripping out in class. <laughs> and her car is the new innovative Volkswagen ID4. It's a lot to deal with, which might be why she always sounds out of breath. We have no idea. Scar King, he must have sensed you. Oh my god. Oh god, bro. I thought the same, because I was like, wait a minute, because in GBK, like, she sounded completely normal, but then in GXK, she kind of sounded a little bit off to me, but I didn't think much of it. But now that he pointed that shit out, like, holy fuck, I can't unsee that. God, have some respect. These people had families. She's raising Gia, a lost oh soldier of the Iwi tribe, 
They're like dollar store airbenders. An entire civilization built off the manipulation of gravity. Who live inside the crystal store at the mall. Carved from some enormous quartz crystal. That, that must be their energy source. Tagging along is Bernie. A waste of Brian Tyree Henry as MF Dude. I can lie, never yeah. Got laid. I am no stranger to danger. He had lots of potential in GXK because what really had me so interested was, you know, all those conspiracy theories that he had on his podcast and then like, once you get to the hollow earth, he's kind of like just thrown away in the background. I was like, oh, damn, well, that sucks. I didn't mean to rhyme that time. King Ghidorah. Though I definitely listened to his 90 minute podcast on Titan sex and Trapper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this shit was cowboy, interesting. Hippie, Titan dentist? Sure, why not? I know, I know. Nobody likes a dentist. He literally wouldn't hurt a fly. Only female mosquitoes. He said, Trapper that. became so, so weird know. after like. But that won't stop this dentist from treating Kong's bleeding frostbitten hand with a power glove full of meth. That's the kind of stupid I can get behind. Now go build Mini Kong a Gundam that treats depression. Chow down on a Mountain Dew filled monster buffet's worth of action. Like the time Godzilla stopped Italy from getting crabs. Godzilla's yeah, like a that starts right when you're like a spider <laughs> A lot of trap work that they probably salvaged from Coyote vs. Acme. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, okay. I, I didn't think they like that. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Mothra hitting Spider-Man level web shots in zero G. <laughs> oh, God. She became fucking Spider-Queen up in this shit. I loved it, though. You even got Kong smacking fools down with a baby club. <laughs> Yes, that was the best part but of the throughout movie it too. all, never forget that these titans are not our enemies, but our noble protectors. As long as they don't venture into each other's territories, we've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> they dead. Yep, nothing to worry about. Yeah, of course Rio didn't catch a break. Behemoth was first. Now these people. Feel much better sharing a plan with these guys. Let me just Google how close I live to any landmarks. So, I'm in Colorado, so I'm chilling. I know Silicon came from Arizona, so. After five movies and two series, uh, Legendary's Mortal is still going strong. Still going, yeah. Uh, still existing? Who knows anymore? And while they're not on. putting up. Don't do us like that, acting like, well, I don't know. Like, this, this franchise is probably hopeless now. We already got the confirmation date that the next Monstrous film is going to come out in 2027. I know it's going to be a little bit of a long wait, but fuck it. We still got more spin-offs along the way as well, so this franchise ain't going anywhere for a hot minute. They're serving up the fast food equivalent. It's big, it's dumb. And if you're in the mood for a quick rush that you'll forget before your next dump, it'll get the job done. It is not that forgettable. Relax. It is not that Starring forgettable. Dunstan checks chins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember that movie. <laughs> Dunstan checks Diddy them. Kong. Oh, Life my God. Games? Not that Diddy. <laughs> Come on. Who killed the dinosaurs? Diddy Me. Kong. Hall had no fury. Tony Scar was able to build this in a cave with a box of spines. Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair. Oh, crikey then! A tribe called Vision Quest. And save Mothra. Yes! They've done to the me! Fuck yeah. Super Smash Bastards. Okay, okay, okay. Should I get a grill? Sure. I'd be thinking the same thing, should I? Nah. Even after three years, Screen Junkies still fucking hits. But at the end of the day, seriously, there's nothing wrong with loving both, you know, Toho's version of Godzilla and Legendary's version of Godzilla. I really loved Godzilla Minus One simply for the fact of bringing back the horror elements to Godzilla and what makes them scary. And with Legendary's version of Godzilla, I'm just loving the fact that this franchise as a whole is basically like the new modern version of Toho films. We get to see them start off a little bit serious and then over time they become more sillier and goofier and just bigger and better than ever. But again, you can't please everybody because it is what it is. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the Screen Junkies channel in the description below. Subscribe if you love Godzilla Minus One and the MonsterVerse. And I'll see you guys the next time. Peace.